first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The giver of life is sentenced to die, to die like a criminal on a cross. It was the most unjust judgment of all times. Yet, at Gethsemane, Jesus had made up his mind. He accepted the sentence with equanimity. Let us pray. Lord, grant me the grace to face things directly. As you taught your followers, let me not be afraid and trust in your never failing presence and love. Amen. The second station, Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A cross was placed on your shoulders, an ugly, heavy cross, but you accepted it without complaint, out of love for us. Let us pray. Let me carry my cross willingly and joyfully. When I find it heavy, help, re help me remember how you carried your cross because of your love for the whole world, including me. Amen. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you've redeemed the world. The cross was too heavy. You collapsed under its weight, but then you stood up, picked up your cross, and went on. Let us pray. Lord, when I fall, Make me humble enough to acknowledge my failure and strong enough to pick up my cross once more and to go on. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. What a place for a mother and son to meet. They both knew it was on the way to an agonizing death. And yet, with the amazing peace of mind, they were resigned to God's will. Let us pray. Lord, wherever I am, Make me an instrument of peace and an instrument of unity and love. Amen. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. You were weak and could not carry the cross. When help was offered, you humbly accepted it with gratitude. Let us pray. Lord, help me get rid of selfish pride, which makes me unwilling to accept from others the help I need. Amen. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A spontaneous act of kindness shown to you is met with a sign of appreciation and gratitude, and in return, 
you imprint your holy features deep in your heart. Let us pray. Lord God, grant me never to forget to be grateful for the favors shown me. Just a smile or a thank you is often sufficient. Amen. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy Christ, you have redeemed the world. You fall again on the dusty, dirty roads like the first time. You quietly stand up and continue on. Let us pray. Lord, let me never blame others for my mistakes and failures, but humbly admit my shortcomings. Help me to carry my cross daily with renewed strength. Amen. The Eighth Station, Jesus Meets the Holy Woman. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Those are the friends who cared for your temporal needs, and they are loyal to the end. In your greatest sorrow, you have always had a word for others. Let us pray. Lord, you have told us to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. May I learn to forgive myself and think of the needs of others. Amen. Ninth Station, Jesus Falls the Third Time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Once more, you are on the hard ground, and no pity is shown on you. Yet, you remember that millions of others depend on you to go on, and you rise and go on. Let us pray. Lord, when I am discouraged and feel like saying, What's the use? Remind me that I am called to imitate your perseverance through times of struggle and to be a source of help to others who are suffering as well. Amen. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. They make you stand there, stripped, in shame, and dishonored. And you, God's sacrificial lamb, offered your shame for the forgiveness of my shameful sin. Let us pray. Lord, help me strip myself of anything that makes me look more like a child of this world rather than a child of God. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world, big ugly nails went through your hands and feet, but on your lips were only words of forgiveness. What an example you give me, my Savior.
Let us pray. Lord, help me understand how close to your heart is reconciliation and grant me the courage to pray. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Amen. The Twelfth Station, Jesus Dies on the Cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The supreme act of love, to die for sinners when they were still your enemies, and we are those sinners. It was your Father's will, and you accepted it, willingly, generously, joyfully. Let us pray. Lord, teach me the value of suffering out of love. From suffering comes joy. From self-denial, happiness and peace. From death comes life. Amen. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You allowed yourself to be placed wherever it's pleased your friends to lay you. How often I am unwilling to come down from the throne. I have built for myself thinking I am more dedicated or more intelligent than others. Let us pray. Lord, let me be willing to be at the disposal of others and to cooperate with their wishes. For it is you who are training me and perfecting me through them. Amen. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Like the good seed, you are placed in the ground and you produced abundant fruit, resurrection and life for you and for us. Death is not the end of everything, but merely the passage to real life. Let us pray. Lord, teach me to bury my past life in the grave with you, and let me rise to the newness of the Christ life, to live henceforth for the glory of your heavenly Father. Amen.